Okay, so today I'm going to show you Linux commands. What we used, uh, what we use as, uh, what we use as DBA. So I will show you the Linux commands. Let me log in first. Sir, share your screen, please. Yeah. So first, I will explain you the Linux permission. Okay. So in the Linux, we have three types of permission. We have three types of permission in Linux. What are those? And when you create the group, uh, user in the Linux, first you must have the group. Without a group, you cannot create the user. Okay, if you want to create a user, you must have a group and you have to assign a user in that group. Okay, so we have three types of permission read, directory, or file permission. We have three types read, write, and execute. What is the read permission? If you give the read permission on any directory or file, then that user can only read the contents of the file. Write means so only user can write in that file. And execute means this user execute or run the file. Executable file. We have read, write, and execute permission. Three permission we have for any file or any directory. So, there are three sets of people for every file we define three sets of people for whom we give permission. There are three sets of people. So what are the sets? One is the owner of the file or directory. Who creates the, who is creating the file or directory. That is the owner. That is the owner. Second one is who. So I have yesterday I have created, created the DBA group. So in the DBA group, we have multiple users, right? So first, we create the group, like we have created DBA group. In the DBA group, we have Oracle, ABC, any, any user it might have. Okay. So in this group, we have three users. So, and there is one directory. E01. Owner of this E01 directory is with the owner, Oracle with the owner. Okay. This is the owner of this directory. Oracle has Oracle is the owner of this directory. So on E01, owner will have full permission. You can give the permission to owner. What permission you can give for you owner? You can give read permission, write permission, and execute permission. R stands for the read, write, and execute. For owner, you can give full permission. For group, if you want to give full permission, then also you can give full permission. So in this group, how many users are there? In this group, we have three users, right? 
fraction ABC and XYZ. So if you want to give full permission for these two, these two users, you can give full permission. But if you want to give only read permission, then give just read permission for this. So how to give read permission only? Dot space space. That's all. Okay. And for other, all others, all others user that is not part of this group. That is public. For public, you can also give the read permission. Okay. We are not going to give free permission for public. Owner will have the full permission. Group members will have the read permission. And public also has the read permission. And we mentioned in the we can assign the uh, permission in numbers. So you can assign if you give the we have the digit, you can mention the digit four, two, and one. Four stands for read. 2 stands for write and 3 stands for execute. Okay, so I will show you. So open terminal. So you can see here. We have the directory new01 app and directory we have. How to take the permission ls nail if you type. So you can see here we have the one folder, one directory app. Right? We have one directory app. In this, this app directory, who is the owner? Oracle. Oracle is part of which group? Moistor. Right? Yesterday I showed you. Oracle is part of OSL group. So Oracle user has how many permission? You can, this is a permission you can see here. So first character shows the file type. Either it's directory or it's a file. So this is the directory. It stands for directory. And you can divide into three parts. This is, this is one part. Oh. Yes, please tell me. Then reconnect. Reconnect. But other can other can hear properly. No, your voice, your uh, this uh, voice. Okay, so you can see here. The first three characters indicates for the owner. So I mentioned here, this is the first permission for owner, second for group, and third for the public. So first permission, first three characters is for owner. So owner have how many permission? They read, write, and execute permission. Owner has. Now coming to the next one, next permission, read and execute. This permission is for members. So other members will have the only read and execute permission. Other members don't have a, uh, write permission. And what about public? All other users? All other users has only read and execute. Got it. So we have three types of permission. First three for first three characters for owner, next three for group, and this three for public. everyone understand any doubt okay, so I'm going to show you how to give the permission how to give the permission how to change the permission so as I mentioned you, this uh, 4 stands for read, 4 stands for read, 2 stands for write and 1 for execute. So if you want to give the permission only read, then you can give permission 4. So 
So how to see the permission? Just type ls hyphen in. You can see the permission in this directory. Okay. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the permission on app directory. Okay. I want to give the full permission for public for uh, group members. Group members has only read and execute permission. I want to give the full permission, read, write, and execute permission for other group members. So how to change? We have the ch mode. Ch mode and R R regards recursive and first digit indicates for the owner. So owner has the full permission. Seven means full. You can calculate. Four plus two plus one. How many? Seven. If you giving seven, uh, if you giving seven means the owner will have the full permission. Read, write, and execute. So for the first digit for the owner, so for owner has full permission. And the next one is for group. I am going to give full permission for group also. I mentioned seven. And for <laughs> uh, public, I want to give only the I want to give only the read permission. If you want to give the read permission only, then give four. Okay. On which directory you want you are giving? T zero one. Access. So first login with the root correct user. Now give the permission. So R is not required. Just mention CH CH mod seven seven four E zero one APP. Now we'll check. We'll check the permission. Go to the E zero one folder. Mount and type ls hyphen l. Now can you see the permission has been changed. Earlier the permission was read and issued is the same. And for group I have given the full permission for group group members. Earlier it has only the read, write, read and execute. Now the permission has been changed to read, write and execute. This is how you can change the permission. Is everyone clear how to change the permission? So first permission for group. So, so the first permission for first permission is for owner, second one is for group, and third one is for so this is how we change the permission on any file and on any directory. Now how to change the ownership? How to change the ownership on the directory? Okay, so you can see here. <coughs> Okay, so in this disk one, <coughs> disk one, I have the mount and disk one. So disk one, and we have the directory this one. And who is the who is the owner of this directory? Root. E zero one. Who is the owner? Root. And who 
Who is the? What is the group? Root is the super user. Root user can do anything in the uh, operating system. It is, it is, root user can change any any file permission. Or root user can change the ownership. Root is the super user. So user is the root, right? Owner is the root. And group is also the root. So if you want to change the ownership, I want to give I want to give uh, I want to change the ownership on this one to user of to Oracle user. Okay, because so Oracle user is going to handle the Oracle is going to store the data files in this uh, disk one. So how to give the permission, how to change the ownership for this one? How to change the ownership? So if you want to change the ownership, I have logged in with our Oracle user. Oracle user cannot change ownership because Oracle is not the owner of this uh, directory. Oracle is not the owner. So only owner can change the ownership. Owner is the root, so log in with the root user. Log in with the root user. This root user can change the ownership now. So how to change the ownership? We have the tone command. Tone hyphen R. Uh, Oracle and group is the DBA to this one. Okay, so this is how you can change the permission. This one, right? We have given the ownership permission for this one. Now, who is the owner now? Oracle. Which is the group? This one. Uh, which is the group? Uh, DBA, right? Oracle is part of DBA group. Just type ls hyphen l and give the disk one. This one. Still not changed. So what's yes. The the command we used uh, change owner, right? So previously we used change mod something. Change. Change mod we have used, but we are using now change one. Ownership, yes. We are changing the ownership of the file. On an uh, on directory ownership ownership of directory owner is you can see here owner is the root right I want to change the ownership to Oracle owner who, who will be the owner who creates the directory right so in the Windows also if you create any file or directory and you log in with any user then you will be the owner right. And you can give the permission, read, write, and achieve permission to other users. So who is the owner? You are the owner if you create any directory. But if you want to change the ownership, also you can change the ownership. So here also you can change the ownership and permission.
now you can see here the ownership has been changed in this one now who is the owner or actually the owner Oracle is part of which group dba group right okay. so Oracle is the owner now so you can see here earlier it was root user now Oracle is the owner this group dba group This is how you can change the ownership. Now, how to check the how to check Oracle user is part of which group? Just type ID Oracle. So you can see here Oracle user is part of which group? DBA and OnStop group, right? Now, how to check how many users are there in the lineup? This is the you can see all all users, regular users, any all users you can see in this file. This etc password EWSWD. How, how to check how many groups are there? Use So these are the groups. These are the groups. You can see here DBA group, right? DBA group has Oracle user, right? So these are the group. How you can see? Now, how to check you are under which directory? How to check you are under which directory? Just type PWD. You will be you will check you are under disk one. Uh, Subhas, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, that uh, ownership when you are changing ch on in mm. a directory, right? Mm. Yeah. So you are using uh, one option uh, hyphen r. Yeah. Right? Yes. So what is the what is the hyphen r? R stands for recursive. If you are changing the uh, ownership permission on any directory, we have to mention yeah. the R. So it will be applied for all files under the directory. If you mention the R. Okay. Okay. If you are changing the permission on the file, then no need to mention the R. Okay. Fine. Okay, so in the windows you can see directory you are under which directory so you can see like this so you can you, you can see here you are under this directory but in Linux, how to see you are under which directory using the pwd using pwd you can see you are under this directory now how to go under directory? This one. Now how to check? Now you are, you are under in this directory. So you can uh, see the location. You are under which location? Okay. And so pwd command is used to find out present working directory. ls command how to see what is the contents of the directory? If you want to see the contents of the directory, just type ls command. Using ls command, this is a list. ls stands for the list. So in the e01, we have two directories. ATP. How to change the directory? I want to go to this directory. ATP. So how to go under this directory? CD app okay and how to check, how to check the contents of this directory ls so in this directory we have another two directory so how to go to this oracle directory this type oracle how to check the contents just type ls okay so ls is the command to 
take the contents under the directory. But in Oracle, so in Windows, if you want to check, just you have to click here, right? But there, you have to type ls command. Now, how to create a directory? How to create the directory? Go to CTJ to Oracle. How to create directory? MKDIR is a command to create the directory. I want, I'm going Subhash, to create that. Yes. Uh, can you can you tell me about this SU command, SU command hyphen Oracle? Why you use that one and what is the SU? Yeah, yeah. ST command is used to switch the user. So if you want to uh, go from one user to another user, we have the SU command. Okay. Switch user. Okay. I will show you later also in the command. SC command is we uh, use to switch user. So now okay. here we are under root user. Root. Okay. Now I am going to switch user to Oracle. Now the Oracle password. Oracle password is Oracle. Oracle. Actually, we need to change the password first. How to change the password? If you want to change the password, just type pwd oracle. pwd oracle. pwd. Okay. Let's see how you can root. Only root user can change the password. Only root user can change the password. pwd oracle. Now switch user to Oracle. We have switched user to Oracle. Now how to create the directory? How to create the directory? In CDIR. In CDIR, I'm going to create a direct test. First, I will log into the disk one, and in disk one, I will create a directory. We are under disk one and create directory in CDIR test. So one directory I have created. Now, how to check the permission on this directory? ls l. You can see. So, you can see read, write, and execute permission for Oracle user. This is Oracle user. And Read and execute permission for group member and read and execute permission for other. Okay. So you can click here. Now we have created the directory. How to remove the directory? If you want to remove a directory, we have ls uh, rm command. Using the rm command, you can remove the directory. rm hyphen r. If you want to delete a directory, you have to mention rm hyphen r. Okay. So I have removed the directory test. Now you can see here the test directory has been removed. How to copy the directory from one location to another location? So if you want to copy, then just I'm going to create a directory once again. This directory is there where to disk one. This directory I have created to disk one. I want to copy this test to this, uh, this directory to disk two. How to copy CP R disk one? We are, we are going to copy to disk two. So I test right directory name is the test. I'm going to copy test directory to disk two. There is no permission on disk one or record doesn't have permission. If you want to check, you can check. So, for 
Oracle. On disk one, Oracle doesn't have permission. Okay. And Oracle is the not Oracle is not the owner of this uh, direct uh, this uh, direct disk. Oracle is not the owner of this. So Oracle user cannot write, cannot write and read and execute nothing. You can see here, root user has no permission. Others no permission, right? Others have no permission. So you need to give the permission. Who can give the permission? Oracle user cannot give the permission because Oracle is not the owner of this this group. So only root user can give the permission. Root there. Yeah. So you have to switch user to root. Either you can send the permission, but here I am going to send the ownership of the this group. Owner is owner will be the this uh, Oracle. First, I will take the ownership. So, don't for me changing ownership, right? Changing ownership. Yes, change own means ownership. Change ownership. Bracket DBA to this group. Bracket right. DBA. So, R is not required. Oracle DBA zone sorry capital R yeah, now you can see that ownership has been changed. Let's type LS and A disk two. Now Oracle is the owner. Now Oracle can read, write, and execute, right? So switch user to Oracle. Now I'm going to copy test. Where is the test? How to change the directory? How to go to the test? How to go to the test uh, directory? Test directory I have created on disk one. Go to the disk one, and the test directory is there. I want to copy this directory to this two. So MB copyright CP icon R test to disk one disk two right. We are going to copy to disk two. So now it has been copied. If you want to check, open one new terminal. Switch so user to Oracle CP disk two. You can see here test directory has been copied. Directory has been copied. Now how to move the directory? I don't want to keep this directory. I want to move and just cut and paste in Windows. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. So how to cut and paste? So we have the move command mb mb second r test. I am going to move to the OPT one time. MB test and this OPT. So you will see OPT folder test and copy. Right now, here we will check you no know, test. This test directly has been moved. Right, this directly has been moved. Test. Now, how to check the contents contents of any file? How to create a file first? If you want to create a file, we have the touch command. Touch abc dot txt. Okay. So you can see here this is the file I have created a file. So you can see here abc.txt how to check if it is file or directory. You can see the just type ls hyphen n check the first uh, character. If it is uh, hyphen then it's a file. If it's showing b then it's a directory. Okay. You can see here. 
abc dot txt is the file. Now, how to write in this directory in this file? bi abc dot txt. If you want to write anything in this bi editor, I will show you. Just save it. Now, how to check the contents of the in this directory? We have the two commands. Cat command. Cat this type abc dot txt. So you can see the contents of this file. These are the contents of this file. We have the more more command also. More abc dot txt. See, using more command also you can see. Okay. We have the tail command also. Tail. So Oracle um, will the tail command. Yes. Press. Uh, what is the use of search? Search is used to create a file. Search is okay. If you want to create any file, you can use mm -hmm. search command. Okay. Now we have the tail command. This command we used in real time. In Oracle, we used this command in real time. So, what is the tail command? So suppose that if you are modifying in a file and I want to see the all modified file, whatever is getting modified, meanwhile I want to see all modified file. Modified, uh, whatever we, user is modifying, I want to see the modifying all something on dynamic modified contents. I want to see all dynamic contents. This user will be modifying and you will be also, you will be displaying the all modified contents. Okay, so we have the alert log file. In Oracle, we have the alert log file. So each event will be recorded in the alert log file. And it will be getting modified always, frequently. So all modified, uh, all modified value we can check using the tail hyphen i, tail command. So tail hyphen if. I want to see 100 lines. In that file, we, uh, there might be thousands of lines. So you cannot display the thousands of lines here, right? In this screen, can you display thousands of lines? You cannot display. So I want to check last hundred lines. Just type tail hyphen hundred f and give the file name. So if you are modifying something, if other user is modifying in this file, then here it will be displayed. You can see the blank and this uh, cursor, right? So here it will be displaying, it will keep moving anyone changing this tail command is used to read the alert log file i will show you and more command also we to check the contents of the directory so if you have thousands of lines then more command is static more abc.txt just you have to type in enter enter so i will show you in the you go to the for for view the file yeah more command is used to Check the contents of the file. More and tail also. Add more and tail. Three commands. Three commands are used to check the content. <coughs> okay, so here. Or readme dot this is one of the file readme dot txt html so, more readme okay. now txt html shall I Here and using more command, you can see first first few lines and more 89% is 
Okay, you can see. Okay, and just tap enter, you will see the remaining part. So this is a more command to see it will uh, show you the contents from the starting. 89% you are able to be view. And if you want to view more, then just tap enter, it will be display the more. Okay, so this is the more command, add command and tail command. So add command, this is the another user uh, Unix Linux command. So Oracle DBA, you to display contents of the file. Okay. And tail command, tail command, this command is to display last given lines of a file. It will show the last given line. Okay. But more command will show you the first in few lines but tail commands you can see the last last lines so if you want to check the last lines last 20 lines tail hyphen 20. first command i showed you is, is you to create a file and find command find command to check uh, to find the is a search command it's like in the windows the search command window we have search right here we also have the find. So just type find hyphen give one hyphen i name. Just type give any name. ls notes. So you can see you got it the ls node. Right. Find hyphen i name. Okay, so if you want to check, if you want to check the file chain code which starts with the ls, you give the star. Find hyphen i name. If you want to check the file or folder who starts which starts with o. O star. Find hyphen i name. And then start. Start. So many times the database administrator had to find files into Linux Unix system. So find command is the command for Oracle Unix TPA and find this is the command find hyphen i name and give the file name. Okay, so if you mention I name, it's a case sensitive. I name is a case sensitive. And if you don't want to use the case sensitive find, then type find. So I want to check everything which starts with O, all files and folders. So O star. So you can see starting with O, we have two folders. Two files, right? So Subhas, it will give the capital letter O all will be there also. Yes, it will give the capital letter also. But if you mention the I name, it's a case in city. Only a small letter will be displayed. Okay. And how to zip? If you want to zip any files, just mention the Z zip. So you want to Z zip? You want to zip any file to so create any file? Go to the disk one. I'm going to CD disk one. Create any file. abc.est, right? How to zip? 
Oracle software using the unzip command, right? So just type unzip and give the file name. That's all. And where you want to unzip, just mention the directory. So unzip. I am going to unzip this file to directory disk one. Disk one. So just mention this one. Unzip. Is not as ABC, our file name is ABC, right? Yeah. And the ABC text. End of central zip file you can you can unzip unzip give the file name if you have any zip file yesterday I have showed you how to unzip right and we have the shutdown if you want to shut down type shutdown if you want to shut down after 10 minutes uh, virtual machine. If you want to shut down the Linux after 10 minutes, then just tap shut down hyphen H plus 10. CMOD, CHMOD, I have showed you. Full command, I have showed you. PAWS and WD, I have showed you. QNAME. QNAME is the command. It displays the important information about the system. This is kernel name, host name, like that. Just type QNAME. You name. So this is the version Linux. You name hyphen here. It will show the edition. Linux edition. SU is the command to switch the user from one user to other user. And DF hyphen H. How to check the 
free space in the mount point. So we use df hyphen h. So we have few different mount points. This one, this two, this mount point we have created at the time of installation, right? So and we, uh, we have given the space for 10 GB for this one, 10 GB for this two, 2 LGB for E01. So how to check how much is the free space? So you can see in this two, this one two percent is used. Means 98 percent is free. So how to check the free space? D hyphen it. You can see here how much is how much is the filter? In this one only two percent is filter. This two only two percent is filter. Only two percent is used. And this is size. And how much is the available? You can see. You can see in the KB. If you want to see in the KB, just type D hyphen K. If you want to see in the MB. If you want to see in the GB, G, it's not a, only you can see in the MB. DF hyphen M. By default, it, it will show in the MB. DF hyphen S, it will show in the MB. And okay. So DF hyphen S command is to check the S press. And this one I have showed you how to check the user. This command is to see the operating system user and ID. This command is to find out information about the user. I have showed you ID Oracle. Oracle is, uh, this user is part of this group. You can use ID. Now how to clear the how to clear the screen? Now I am going to show you the VI editor. We used this editor frequently as DBA. We use this editor, VI editor. So how to use this editor? So now I will create any file. Okay, so there, there, there is a touch dot txt is a file. I want to modify. I want to modify this file using a VI editor. So just type vi touch or txt. Write anything. If you want to write anything, you to press enter. So I press I and you can write anything. You can write anything inside. So we have written. Now how to save this file? Just, um, just press escape, then shift colon colon. W, Q, and exclamatory mark, and enter. This file has been uh, changed. Okay, we have modified this file. Now, how to see the contents of this file? Using VI editor, also you can check the contents of the file. Okay. And again, if you want to modify, just press I. I want to write something here. Okay. Now. I don't want to modify, I don't want to change. I don't want to change. This is the wrong. So I want I don't want to change this value. So how to how to unchange step is uh, press escape plan two and exclamatory mass. Whatever you may modify is not in change. And you can also press control C. Okay. Now Vi TST. Now, how to delete the line? I want to delete the first line. This time, so just don't press I. Just press D. 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 The first line will be deleted. Zero. All line is getting deleted. Now, how to save? And how to check the contents using more command? You can check it. These are contents of the 
contents of this file. So we use VI editor frequently as DBA. Okay. If you want to change something here, type enter, sorry, I, and then changing. Okay, it's now save. So this is the VI editor. So most frequently as Oracle DBA, DBA is ls command and ls command we use, we use vi editor okay. and cp, cp command also we use. The most frequently used command is the ls. If you want to see any contents of the directory or file, we use the ls command. Is everyone clear or any doubt? Is everyone clear?